Hi, my name's Katrina and I'm going to be talking today about Olive Morris, who was an activist who fought relentlessly to seek justice and equality for the black community, women's rights and housing rights. Olive Morris was born in Jamaica in 1952. She travelled to the UK with her brother when she was just nine years old to join their parents living in South London. She left school at the age of 16 with no qualifications, but in 1978, she graduated from Manchester University in social sciences. Morris tragically lost her life at the age of 27 due to a form of cancer called non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. But her activism and dedication to speak out against injustice whenever she saw it has left a legacy impossible to forget. Her activism began as a teenager in the 60s and 70s in response to the many movements surging at the time. In 1969, at the age of 17, she witnessed a Nigerian diplomat by the name of Clement Gomwalk being harassed by police. They refused to believe the expensive car he drove belonged to him. In protesting his arrest, a crowd began to gather and Morris broke through to come to his aid and intervene. And as a result, she was also assaulted and arrested and later said, each time I tried to, raise, to talk or raise my head, I was slapped in the face. This experience only fueled Morris's passion for activism and she dedicated herself to speaking out against systematic racism within the UK. In the early 1970s, she joined the Black Panther movement and went on to become a founding member of the Brixton Black Women's Group, one of the first networks for women of colour in the UK. In 1972, Morris addressed housing rights as she squatted in unused buildings, which was legal at the time. Squatting in one place for long enough meant you could eventually claim rights to that space. She encouraged others to do the same, bringing attention to the many vacant buildings at a time of overwhelmed waiting lists, poor living conditions and homelessness. Her building became a hub for community meetings and a black community bookshop. It is said by women's rights charity Fawcett Society that Olive Morris was a woman who turned squatting into an art form. In 1978, Morris co-founded the Organisation of Women of African and Asian Descent, also known as OWAD. Unlike mainstream feminism, which predominantly catered to the white middle class, OWAD encouraged hundreds of women with shared experiences in discrimination to be politically active. They held four conferences between 1979 and 1982, in which hundreds of women of colour attended and were inspired to set up their own local community groups across the UK. Her pioneering efforts in activism paved the way for many underprivileged communities to find their voice and retake control of their place in an unwelcoming society. And since her death, she has been honoured with a Lambeth Council building in her name and by popular demand, she was voted to feature on a local currency, the Brixton Pound. In her short 27 years, Olive Morris created a legacy so fundamental to social change and the rights of black women. She is undoubtedly a remarkable historical figure.